Well, I'm at it again. Here I go. I'm going to be sharing with you some of the best Amazon products that I have found very recently. Stick with me. We're going to have all kinds of fun. We're going to do this in rapid fire and you're going to find some fantastic beauty, makeup, fashion, home. We're going to go through just about everything. I can't wait to share these with you. Hey there, girlfriends. I have been looking and looking and looking on Amazon for some fantastic finds. You know I do love my Amazon and I can't wait to share these with you. Let's talk about my numbering system. I have a numbering system that I will put numbers up on the screen right here and we will go one, through however many products that we get to talk about today, and that will come up on the screen. So if it's number three, product number three, I will hold up that product, it will correspond to that. And you don't have to worry about remembering the name of it, you just have to remember that you liked number three that I was talking about. Then you go down into the description box and open that up, and you find number three, next to it will be the name of the product, if there's a color or a size, and there will be a link, and you can shop that way if you'd like to. And please remember that those are affiliate links and I do make a small commission and I do appreciate your support more than you could possibly know. It helps my channel out and helps me keep going. So thank you for your kind support. All right, so let's talk about the shirt. It's going to be number one today and the shirt has been so much fun for me. I'm in love with this thing. It's a jersey knit material. I've talked about in my other videos that it's easy to wear with a regular bra because you know you wear a black bra and it just goes right over it and it's so good. It has the three buttons down the side, a little bit of ruching around the tummy that hides the tummy in the butt, which is always a good thing for me. Tunic length, which I love. And I love the weight of the material on it too, because it's really light enough for me to be able to wear right now in summer, but I feel like I'm going to be able to wear it through fall. So that's the first fashion item. And before I talk about the jewelry that I have on, I want to talk about a couple other shirts that I have that I couldn't wait to show you. Now this shirt right here, I have this shirt in a lighter color, but when I saw this dark purple, I fell in love with it. You guys know I'm such a purple fiend. And again, this is a jersey knit material. It does have kind of a little bit of a scooped hem on it. You'll see it right here on the model as I'm showing, but I love this lace up detail on it because it adds a little bit of, you know, V-neck, but it's got a little bit of extra detail on it with the silver grommets. And I just think this is so pretty. I really love it. And then the next one that I have is a ribbed knit t-shirt. So this one has got a v-neck on it and it's got the lace detailing on the sleeve. And so this is so cute too. And this was really very comfy because not only is it the rib knit, but it was a little bit bigger. I like my t-shirts normally to be fairly form fitting, but this was nice because it was a little bit bigger. It was a little bit loose and it just felt really comfortable. And I felt like the lace on it or, you know, the sleeve being the lace just really kind of elevated it a little bit. So you could wear some jewelry, jeans, you know, whatever you want to. If you want to wear a little pair of heels with it, it would be just really cute to wear anytime. So of course I will show you what I have on for jewelry. This is a filigree earring, which I absolutely love. I think it's so pretty. These are so light and they have the little tassels or the little dangles at the bottom. Super cute. The necklace is my heart link necklace. And I said this in my last video, if I could find this in real gold or gold plate where it was really a nice gold plating and silver or whatever, I would buy this in tons of different colors because I just think it's all kinds of cute and all kinds of fun. And I like the length of it and I like everything about it. So yeah. And my nail polish and my rings and everything will be linked down below along with any of the makeup that I'm wearing that my, I might not talk about today because most of the makeup that I'm wearing today, I'm not going to talk about. Now these earrings right here, I'll actually try one of these on for you so that you can see what they do look like on a little bit these earrings I've shown many times on my channel before. They're just a multicolored resin earring that is very, very light and they're very cute. They have a lot of pink in them and that's why I bought them because I wanted to wear them with my pink. But I found the little cuff bracelet that matches. And so I was like, oh, yippee skippy. And I was just really excited that I found that. So 
how much fun to be able to find the two of them and like i said they are resin or they are the plastic so they're super light and they don't cost very much that's even better and then the next one is one that i thought i wore so easily with all my purples i very rarely find a dangle earring that is purple and yet i found some and i love these and again these are this part is resin right here and they're just really really super lightweight these are really beautiful gold tone with the purple um just a little bit of the metallic purple look on there and there is a little rhinestone stud at the top of it right there and i thought those are so cute too and then these hoops i was so excited about i love bling of course i've been getting into gold a lot more i love these that they're the hoops but circled around is rhinestones and just kind of twisted around them and so they have that twisted look to them and these catch the light and they're so pretty and again super lightweight they're not heavy at all and i love them i've shown this before but this has quickly become probably my favorite necklace ever this is a lifetime jewelry company they've been around since 1987 and what they are is this is a particular particularly sturdy way of making these necklaces and all of their jewelry and i so far have four pieces of this and i am hyper impressed i absolutely love this style with the heart and all the rhinestones so pretty and then this one right here is a really special one too this isn't um, any sort of the jewelry that i was talking about but i love a freshwater pearl that's irregular not that you know the round pearl and this is just a gold little bit of a bracelet that has the lariat design that will just cinch up really easy but it also has the rhinestones right here so this is just kind of something that's very dainty to wear and i have been enjoying wearing that so much it's so very pretty all right Right, that's all the jewelry I have. I want to switch over and do a little bit of beauty now. The other day when I did my video, I was talking about the hair serum that I used and how I felt like it was worth every penny. This is from DS Laboratories. This one is called the Spectral DNC-N. And this is a redensifying hair therapy that does not use medocmin minoxidil 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 in it at all and i love this it has helped regrow my hair so much um restore stimulate and revitalize what yeah. this does is it makes your hair grow and stops the thinning of your hair as well and i have been in absolute love with it i think i'm going on probably a year with it now and the reason that i got it was because i was having such a bad hair shed and I didn't realize this, but you know, whenever you have stress, whenever you lose weight, whenever you stress your body out in one way or another, you lose a certain amount of hair and you have cycles on your hair where your hair will fall out and then it will rest and then it will grow. So you have that cycle going on all the time anyway. But if you are stressed, that cycle will be hyperactive and you'll be going faster on the hair fallout. Well, in January, as many of you know, I lost my dad. I got COVID. My husband had to be operated on. My son ha had to be operated on. I mean, it was a mess at the first of the year. So in six months around June, July, I was expecting my hair to start falling out in handfuls because normally the stress of all that would just make my hair fall out. Now I am getting a little bit of fallout with each shampoo which is normal you always lose a certain amount of hair a day but i'm not getting anything like i was and i attribute it to this plus i know that this is helping my hair grow because i have little bitty hair sticking up all over the place that i have to smooth down all the time and i have little hair all over as i'm curling my hair that's different lengths so i know that this has really done a great job in helping my hair grow and keeping my hair from falling out and so i use this like i said i use it every other day and i use it at night and i really rub it into my scalp and then the next morning right before i'm going to wash my hair i'll do the same thing once again let it sit on there for as long as i possibly can and then go ahead and wash my hair so good the and next product i don't know if any of you have heard about this you probably have i'm probably very late to the game on this but this stuff is so great as far as helping my breath to stay good all day long i get overly anxious about that but this is called therabreath professional formula therabreath dentist formulated fresh breath oral rinse 
fights bad breath for up to 24 hours and this is the rainforest mint and it says it's powered by oxygen it doesn't burn my mouth like a regular mouthwash either and i love that about it i gargle with it i don't get any of that horrible i really had a hard time swishing my mouth with regular mouthwashes because it just burned so bad and i'd have to spit it out really quick but yeah i'm loving this i'm going to be repurchasing it so many times i'm like this far down on the bottle i just love it i think it's fantastic um, i found this from costa baja and it's the tranexamic acid with niacinamide and I love this. This is what I use as a spot treatment and I'm noticing such a great change and lightening of my spots and my melasma and my redness. So I have redness here. I have um, age spots and acne scars right here and then I have melasma across my neck that has cropped up over the summer that I don't know why. Well I started using this just in spot treatments right not all over my face and I'm really noticing a difference in bright in the brightness of my skin and how that is all starting to fade so yeah I'm really impressed with this and I'm excited to continue and to use it I haven't I don't think I've talked about this for over a year but this is the Pravana the perfect blonde treatment mask and it's got water in it because it's been in my shower <laughs> what it is is it's a purple toning mask and I use this to keep down the brassies it is so pigmented with violet I mean i I don't even really want to even, you know, put it on my fingers because it really is super pigmented. If and you're somebody that has that problem, maybe you're, you have a little bit of gray hair and it looks really brassy sometimes, you might want to try this. And if you're somebody that's blonde and you want a tone in your hair that is a little bit more on the cool side, this is fantastic. I only use that, I don't know, I probably use it maybe once or twice a month because it lasts that long through the other shampoos. About something I, I talked about before as well. This is the Benton Fermentation Eye Cream. This this is the bifida eye cream and galactomyces eye cream that i talked about in one of my videos previously which i will try to remember to link down below bifida is a fantastic ingredient for wrinkles and brightening and antioxidants and um, firming it's just such a good ingredient it's once it's what's in lancome genifique and estee lauder night repair but in this eye cream it's hyper concentrated and i've been using it and i've been noticing the brightness and the firming of my skin and I cannot tout that ingredient enough in that video I talk about a couple other products that have it and it's so so good now so I have been for a long time talking about urea products with my Suko Yakasuhara products if you haven't been with me those are three of my products that I talk about for dry skin that are just fantastic. But I have found a drugstore alternative and on Amazon, it's even cheaper than it was at the drugstore. And this is the Ucern Ultra Repair Original 5% Urea Cream. So good. I use this my last thing at night and I just slather this all around my eyes. My forehead gets super dry as well. My neck, I don't want my neck to wrinkle any more than it already is. I love urea. I think it is one of those um, ingredients that any dry skinned gal really should be using because it's going to be your savior. And urea has the property of being able to slough dead skin off very gently. So it's sloughing, it's moisturizing, it's doing all those yummy benefits at the same time and i just this is really good and i was really pleasantly surprised to find one that i felt like was every bit as good as the sukuyaka suhara that i've been touting for a long time um good second runner i should say um okay. the australian gold this is the botanical 30 this is their long lasting waterproof formula for 80 minutes and this one is all mineral and the nice thing about it is that it is mattifying so a lot of times when you put on a mineral sunscreen you feel like that mineral sunscreen is just a grease ball on your face and so many people hate that and i get it it's it's nasty um i love wearing this when i'm going out in the sun i know i'm going to be sweating um and if you're going into the water you're going to be having the same benefits it's just that good well, and i do know that it's 30 but 30 is plenty to get you through and keep you from burning and of course reapply after to every two hours on any sun sunscreen that you wear when you're out in the sun so this has been so so good i also want to talk to you about aromatherapy cream that my husband got um and he this is for stress relief from dr teal's stress relief 
body cream relaxes and calms the mind eucalyptus citrus and spearmint essential oil blend um, it's pure epsom salt shea butter cocoa butter coconut oil and vitamin e so if you have a sensitivity to coconut oil beware of that my mom does that's why i always say it in a video and it's just a really fast absorbing nice cream and i i've been under a lot of stress lately There's a lot of things going on in my life but this is a great cream it'll rub my feet with it it just absorbs into them so i don't feel like i have greasy soles on my feet or anything like that it's a great cream uh, dr uh, teal's is such a good line because they use epsom salts and they use such good ingredients and if you haven't tried their bubble bath by the way i think i do have i did i brought the bubble bath over here too this is the foaming bubble bath this makes the most luxurious bubbles i love it this one is the relax and relief with eucalyptus and spearmint as well and this relieves body aches i i'm like down to my last third of this bottle i need to reorder it but it's so good this is so so good and any of the dr teals that you have wanted been wanting to try you should try because it's such a good line and i love dr teals it's so good all right, all right so how cool is this you saw this probably on the thumbnail these are the coolest things these are for your brushes when you travel and i'm going to show you a brush that i'm going to be talking about here in a minute but i'm going to show you how this works so i'm going to put this through and it's going to squish my brush but oh well this is for travel by the way i should have said that and then it protects your brushes while they're in the case for wherever you're traveling i mean how cool is that that you can protect your brushes then when they're in the bottom of the case they're not getting all twisted and turned and you know or you know whatever's on them is going to get on something else they have all different sizes and it comes in a package of six these were for my bigger brushes obviously but i thought this was the coolest thing they're silicone they're washable and if you're traveling what a great thing it just i love them and they just pop right off and so good and then let's just talk about this brush i really have been in love with this brush because it has this super soft end on one side i've been using this for my highlighter and then i've been using this side right here for buffing in either my bronzer or using it for foundation it has absolutely washed up great it works so good and i love dual-sided brushes i've been bringing you guys so many different options for dual-sided brushes and this is a great one too the little rose gold i think is a great accent on it and yeah i really have been loving that one i also want to show you another tool for skincare this is a germane roller if you have not heard about this nurse jamie's the one that originally coined these or invented them or whatever it rolls across your skin i've been using this on my neck lately and across my jowls and i swear i really think that this is helping to tone up my neck between this and my jade roller which i've been using a lot and the gua sha tool i've been trying to use um, one of those either this one or one of those and by the way i'll link that that one as well the set as well so you know which one i'm talking about but i've been using one of the three of these tools every single night every single morning and i swear it is helping so much to lift this gel part right here and when you use this you can kind of feel i mean i'm not going to put a lot of pressure on right now because i got makeup and it's going to get all over here but when you use it you can feel the little crystals kind of breaking apart in your jaw and whatnot yeah i really love this tool and i love a, a jade roller and a gua sha tool i love all of those i also so want to talk to you about this set of zoya polishes okay i wear pretty much nothing but zoya i mean i occasionally will show you other fingernail polishes but zoya is the big 10 free which means that it really truly doesn't have a lot of the nasty things that so many polishes have in them well i found this set which is right up my alley it's got purple and then two pinks in there a rose and a pink in there and this lipstick which is the color that i have on today and i was so happy because first of all if you go on zoya's website you'll find that each of these cost twelve dollars which is a lot but i got this whole entire set on amazon for twenty dollars so that means that each one was five dollars i love that i think it's great i didn't have these colors and yeah so good the polishes are really great they last a long time on your nails use a good um, base coat a nice top coat you've got your nail manicure on for like you know five six days it's really good and there are quite a few sets on there there's also wanted to tell you that while i I was filming this month and we did the I tried your hidden gems at the drugstore 
this thing came up from Kathy. I, oh gosh, Kathy, you just gave me the best present when you did this. I'm losing my voice because I've been doing this for about two hours now. What it is, is it's a clear lip liner, which is to help with bleeding of the, you know, your lipstick. But she said, use this on your eyes and you can use any eyeshadow you want and it helps to cling to it. Genius, absolutely genius. I mean, I've, I've been using this ever since I've, I love you, Kathy, for doing that because that is probably one of the best things I've ever found. You just, you know, use it like a regular liner and then you just smudge on top of it the eyeshadow that you're wearing that matches the eyeshadow that you have on and bam, you got the greatest eyeliner. I just love it. And then I also want to share with you this really super thin eyeliner that I got from Maybelline. By the way, did I say that this clear one lip liner was from Maybelline? It is. Anyway, this one is the Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner from Maybelline. And this one is the waterproof one. But I want to show you, look how tiny that is. And you know what I love about it? It's waterproof. And the Perfusion one that I've been using forever has that tiny, tiny tip on it. And I love that it's so tiny because my hands shake and it can get out of hand really easy if you use something that's too chubby or too thick. Well, this is waterproof, so this just outperforms the Profusion one as far as I can tell because it's so nice and stays on until I take it off. And that's just, I love it about that. So, so good. And then I also want to really quickly talk about the Maybelline. These are the Cheek Kiss Liquid Blushes. And I have had the one in, I think it's called Rose Embrace. Let me see what it's called. Rose Romance. I've had this one in Rose Romance for such a long time and I've worn it like crazy. It's been one of those ones that I just love wearing because it's a liquid blush and it sticks around and it's so pretty, but um, I, and I love the color, so pretty, such a nice one. But I bought this new one and it's called Berry Smooch and it's so dang pretty. I love this new color. So these are the two colors that I have in it and it makes me want to buy more of these like I don't have enough blush in my life already but wow they're just they're so so pretty and I love them and I do have Berry Smooch on today. I definitely could put a little bit more on for you too so you could see it in action. So let me just grab a little bit of that Berry Smooch. I'll just put them together since I got both of them on the back here. So just grab a little bit more and I will just show you just a tiny bit what it's going to do there and isn't that pretty so so pretty oh my goodness i love blush i'm such a blush junkie and now that i held up this mirror i'm going to have somebody asking me what the mirror is i'll link it right below this blush so that you can see what the mirror is it's a beautiful compact mirror i love it and so yes just beautiful blush and it's going to be around for a very long time okay that's all the makeup what would a video for me be without purses and of course i'm going to bring you three purses because i love purses i'm such a junkie all right let's just do this so this is a cream and burgundy purse it is a mid-sized purse I love this purse. It's so cute. It has the gold detailing on it. It has several compartments in there. Um, some people don't like the compartments. They like just one. Personally, I don't care. It's a purse, so I'm going to love it no matter what. It does have the zipper on the back of it, so the cream is all on the back. And I love the stitching matches the cream, and it's just got the piping that's black. It's got the extra little bling and some detail right here, but it's such a cute purse, and I really do love it. And and I love that this one would transition you so easily into fall as well. How much fun is that? The next one, I couldn't remember if I'd put it in a video or not before, but this is the one that I'm using right now. So I wanted to put it in this video. This is the quintessential hobo bag and it's so cute. I adore all the accents on this. It's got these big gold chains and big gold accents on it. It's got this cute chain up front, the rope chain that hangs down, and then all the rhinestones set into the gold bling in here. So much fun and the buckles and everything on it. And then inside it is the typical hobo bag. I do have an organizer inside of there. It has a couple of pockets in the front and then the pocket in the back. And I, this has been, this is so nice. I actually bought this one in a pink too that I'll be showing you in the fall because I love it that much. It's such a great purse. And then the last one, of course, I'm gonna show you a crossbody because not only am I into the big things, I'm into the little things. If it's a purse, it's a purse and I'm gonna love it. We have the cute little fox detail right there, so cute. And I love that it almost looks like a designer purse. It's definitely not. I 
can't afford designer. Don't think I ever will. Love that it has the flap over the top. And I love that it does have the three pockets in here. So much organization in a little purse is almost essential because then you're not losing everything. And this one's so nice. And I just really thought that everything about this purse was cute. From the gold detailing to, you know, the long strap that it has that you can wear crossbody or just carry it as a cute little satchel purse. Just thought it was so much fun. So many little blingy things on here. These are just little zippers that um, do have pockets in there if you want to use them, but um, just a fun little detailing on it as well. And it does have the back little pocket too. So I thought that one was great. And then even though this isn't a purse, I do want to show this to you. I picked this up because this is a makeup bag, by the way. I picked it up because it is such a smaller makeup bag. And I was toting around about, I don't know, maybe 50 items at once, maybe more than that <laughs> into that huge makeup bag that I showed you guys. I had a makeup bag video like earlier in the year, which I can link for you as well. And it has some of the greatest makeup bags in it ever. But I like this one because if I'm going on just a few days trip, actually, if you're going on any kind of a trip, this one works so good because you can carry just a few makeup items. So take the essentials instead of having to take so much and it will hang so you can put it up like that and it has several different pockets if you're traveling you can put this on your carry-on because a lot of times i don't like to put my makeup into any sort of a suitcase that i'm actually going to check in because you don't know how that's going to get jostled around put this in your carry-on because it's a little small one and it'll fit and you'll have your makeup and you'll be able to know where your makeup is and that it's being taken care of well and this is completely washable but it's really durable fabric 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 that is washable and it has the two pockets on the side too so this is a really great one let's finish off this video with some cute cute shoes i wanted to show you first these adorable sandals that i got that are so comfortable these i had told you guys that i've been having problems with my feet but these sandals work so good for me i can still wear these even though i have that metatarsal bone that has just been driving me crazy but they have a lot of padding on them and the other thing is i have a hard time wearing the um flip-flop or the thong right there in between the toe i can't do that it just hurts because of my I guess that same reason, but this doesn't have those on there. And I do love these. These are so cute and they do come in a couple other colors and the, I love the black and I just thought that they were so okay. much fun. And then I also wanted to show you that Skechers does have sandals and I didn't know that. I've been enjoying wearing these as well and it is a little bit more of a heel. So I only wear them for a dressy occasion, but because they are Skechers, they are very comfortable for a dressy occasion and you know when you're walking around you got to have a skirt on or whatever and so i do like these but like i said they do have quite a good wedge on them so if you're somebody that can't wear a heel you might not be able to but definitely comfortable absolutely comfortable and i really have been enjoying those and then the last shoe that i wear that i wanted to show you is my new sketchers and i have been pretty much only wearing sketchers lately because they just work so well and they don't make my feet hurt and these are my sketchers run and i can wear these if i want to run i don't run anywhere walk don't run but yeah but i love these i love sketchers ones that you don't have to um lace up just being lazy don't want to tie my shoes but yeah don't i like these ones that don't don't have the laces that you have to tie really have been loving these they come in a bunch of colors these are blue with gray i really had to fight to not get the purple because i think there is a purple pair but yeah these are really fun at first when i got them i didn't think i was going to like them they came up a little bit higher on the front of my foot right here than the other ones that i have do but i love them now and they're the ones that i go to and i wear all the Shoot. time now i have just a couple of items for the home and i wanted to show you these boxes really quickly these boxes come in this set of three and I got them because I wanted to put makeup in them. I have makeup strewn everywhere. And what I wanted to do was I wanted to be able to have boxes that I could take the makeup that I hadn't used yet and put in. So that's what I do. And I, the ones that I'm trying, the makeup that I'm going to try or the makeup that I am getting ready to try or are for videos, I'm putting into these boxes and I don't have to put them away in drawers. I can just have them here. So 
These have been great. They're very heavy duty, not a light box at all. And I like that because I know that everything's gonna be kept safe and really have been liking that they stack too. They're so cute. Another box right here that is so dang cute. Look how cute this is. Finest dryer sheets, soft and fresh for laundry. And this is just what I found to keep my dryer sheets in. I had to share this with you because I just thought it was so darn cute. And I am, my whole decor is like shabby chic farmhouse type thing. So I had to share this because I just thought that that was adorable. And then lastly, I wanted to show you this set of three adorable little jars that I got off of Amazon. These are just like jug jars and they're pretty small. They're not very big at all, as you can see if I put it on my shoulder. They're not very big at all, but oh my gosh, these are the cutest little accents. There is another color set that comes in, I think a white, a green, and a blue. And I was really tempted to do that because that's a lot of my colors as well. But I love that they came in all white because I just thought it was so darn cute. And yeah, they're just so much fun. And I really love Amazon for their decor as well. I just think it's so cute and yeah can't say enough good about that so pretty much that's it and in every video i just about have somebody ask me about those flickering candles back there they are battery operated i'll make sure that i put those in the video as well and i always have somebody ask me about my lighted tree too i make, i will make sure that i put that in there as well so hope you did enjoy it is there anything on amazon that i need to know about Obviously I do. I need to know about more Amazon things. So let me know in the comment section if there's anything that you have gotten recently that you've really been enjoying from Amazon. Thanks everyone for being with me. Before we go, let's put up another Amazon video right here so you can see some really good Amazon. I'll go back as far as I can because I think I started doing this Amazon where I was doing Amazon video about two to three times a month. I'll go back as far as I can, maybe towards, I don't know, February or somewhere and we'll put up that video right here so that you can go ahead and take a look at it. Thank you all so much for being with me. Smucker says goodbye as well as she barks as we leave. Take care of yourselves. I love you so much and I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye, my friends.